You know, right now we are in the middle of our generous life journey, and it has been uh, it's been a good uh, journey so far. It's been a really great study, but I've been trying to kind of think through that a little bit more, even and try to to broaden that uh, in my life. And am, am I a, a generous person with more than just my wallet um, and my finances? Been trying to think through that. Well. Fortunately for me, something's happened the last couple of weeks that's really helped me kind of solidify that. And what's happened, to give you a little bit of context, is Pete Davidson. Now, if you don't know who Pete Davidson is or you're not familiar with him, he is a comedian on Saturday Night Live. All right, I'm guilty. You caught me. I still watch Saturday Night Live. I love it. And uh, it is a, a guilty pleasure of mine. Anyway, Pete Davidson... Uh, the Saturday right before our midterm elections, he decided that he was going to poke some fun at some politicians. Well, unfortunately for Pete Davidson, one of the politicians that he decided to poke fun at was Lieutenant Commander uh, Dan Crenshaw. Now, if you're familiar with Dan Crenshaw, um, you know that he lost an eye on his third tour in Afghanistan uh, as a Navy SEAL. Well, what Pete Davidson decided that he was going to do uh, unwise decision on Pete Davidson's part is that he was going to poke fun at Dan Crenshaw's eye patch. Well, that did not go over too well. Um, he got a lot of backlash for that. Well, this last Saturday, Pete Davidson uh, had an opportunity and he took it uh, to apologize. Uh, he apologized not only to the American people, but he actually was able to apologize in person to Dan Crenshaw, who's now Congressman-elect Dan Crenshaw, on another segment of Weekend Update. Um, and it was great. I've watched it a, a couple times, actually. And I really think that Pete Davidson uh, gave a very sincere and heartfelt uh, apology. Um, it was just really um, refreshing uh, to see that, to, to watch that. So. One, I like to just uh, give a big thank you to Pete Davidson and Dan Crenshaw. So you guys, um, if you're watching, and, and I know that you are, um, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you for, one, showing us where we are as far as just being divided and, and not being able to really understand each other in our differences, but then also to show us where we ought to be and where we can be that we can still, in our differences, be united. So thank you for that. So in my journey of giving and being uh, or having a more generous life, I was thinking about what does it mean to be generous? Well, the dictionary defines generous as being liberal in your giving, being liberal in your sharing, being unselfish, but it also means being free. Now, free, that's a, that's a really great word there. Being free of meanness, um, being free of having a smallness of mind or a smallness of character. In other words, being free to be magnanimous. So I thought that was really uh, good uh, to, to think through a little bit more. So here's my thought. Um, here's what I'd like to leave you guys with. In our journey of living a more generous life, how generous are we with our words and with our actions? Am I using my words to inspire? Am I using my words to encourage other people? I don't know. For me, I think that's a good thing to take inventory of. Hey, be blessed, but more importantly, be a blessing to someone else.